Hello, it's John here. Sunday, the 16th of October 2016. I'm just about ready to go to the gym, so I'm ringing Sunakura to see what the latest is. And then I can go and have my exercise. Oops. Okay, here we go. Kia ora. Madam Prime Minister. Is that you, Sue? Yeah, John Wanoa here. Yeah, I was just seeing if uh, uh, Kingy rang you. Um, I, I left a message, he said okay. Yeah? Yeah. Did he ring you, all right? What's that? Did he call you? No, he hasn't. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, no, I sent a message and, and he says okay, he'll ring you. But uh, anyway, that's, that's all I was just checking up with you to see if you got his message. Uh, yeah, well, he's been down the South Island and um, uh, working through the radio and and things there and then back up to Waitangi. He's come to Auckland and drives all the way up there. He's, he goes backwards and forwards all over the place. And one minute he's down in Tainui and the next minute he's in Wellington. Yeah, yeah, busy boy. Um, mm hmm. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 I, I Uh huh. Yeah, that's what I, I was saying. That that to be done on the Titi Marae. Yeah, on the 26th and 27th. Yeah. 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 Yep, so that's that's fine, that's fine, as long as it's uh, it's uh, in front of the tomata over there on Titi, as normal. Uh-huh. Yes, yes.
Uh huh. Yep, yep, yep. Maybe, uh, Kingy. No, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, so so he'll have his own titles. I'm keeping these ones I've got for Mohi, Monica. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 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 I'm listening. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's in New Zealand, eh? Yeah. Eh? That's for, for New Zealand, yeah. Never mind. That's for New Zealand, for this country. No, I don't, I don't think he was associated with it at all, all these years. With the whakaputanga, with the whakaputanga, he, he's only been political. Yeah, so, so what I'm saying is it had to have a government for them to, it had Kingy and them up there, they had to have a government to function anything, but well, they haven't got one. No, they haven't got one. Yeah, so that part, I understand all of that. That's what's missing there. That's what I'm telling Kingy and them and, and Hoi for them. That's what they haven't got. They don't. They haven't been in it that long as you have to to know what to do in politics. They they got no politics. Yeah, landowners. Mm -hmm. that's your yeah, that's right. That's your business, yep. Yep. Yeah, that's your business. That's right. Yeah, that's your. That, that's why I stay right away. I tell them that. That's why I said no. You need Sue. Yeah. You 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 need Sue because you you can't take on these juggernauts in Wellington without that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So 
Yeah, so that... Yeah. Yep, 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 that's right. So, so um, I'll explain that to him so that he's fresh in his mind today, not the last time, today. And those others, the Whakaputanga, uh, Whakameninga people are um, tending to listen what I'm saying now. When I go up on Wednesday... Yeah, no, I've got that, I'll get that, but um, I'll be up there on Wednesday up at um, Hokianga and uh, I, I will say, I will convey your message to the, to the Whakameninga. Uh, Rita, yeah. I don't know, I've been way out of touch with them. Yeah, I've, I've been there, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Ricky, and Ricky, her brother Ricky. No, we no, we don't get on. We 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 we're daggers with each other. No, they started that off. I I I'm, I'm sticking to the ones down in Waikato, the 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 Manukau's there. It's more prominent uh, down that way. Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, but that's why I had a hard time up with Mohi. Yeah, 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 that's why I had a hard time with them and they knocked me around a bit, but um, but Mohi would, would listen to me, that's why I couldn't get on with them. Because they, Mohi gave me all his stuff, he didn't trust his own family. That's, that's how bad it is, and, and with Iru not coming back, it made it worse. Yeah, for his funeral and all that, so yeah. Yes. Yes, so, so the, um, the, it, it, in, in, in the Manukau family, the Mangatautari um, uh, Manukaus are the, are the ones to talk to them in Waikato, in Hamilton. Those are, those are the Manukaus that are more, more in line with, uh, with, with the history. Hori, um, uh, George. George, George Manukau. The old guy, the old, the old guy. Yeah, uh, no, no, he's uh, cousin. Oh, I don't know, I haven't been out of touch with him for a while. So, so he's in Huntley, he lives in Huntley. Uh, that's those Manukau's down there are um, more the right ones. Uh, well, if I, if I can get, if I can get uh, him, uh, he's with all the other Manukau crowd down there. They used to come up with the incorporations. That that, that lot, that lot that uh, used to follow my my around. Mm. Yeah. But uh, anyway, I've kept their things f for the time when I can hand it back to them. But at the moment, I won't until they until they uh, you know the flag issues are solved. No, no, no. You need to to proclaim it. Yeah, yeah, no. It's already on around the world. Everybody in England knows. Everybody in the world. I've got 68 Facebook sites. Yeah, no, they've got all my documents there. They've, 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 they've been issued with them. At, 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 I've been on the Marae there a lot of times. And they've got all the documents I had put together. Um, Kingi and them. And, and the... the Titi Marae and, and also the Waitangi Marae National Trust. No, they don't know what they they don't can't understand it. That's why that's why I'm trying to 
galvanised. This is the last time I'll be there, and I'm going to England to live. I'm, I'm going to handle that end of the flag over there and around the world, not here. That's what I'm, I'm preparing Waitangi Marae for, and I'm giving 10 minutes each to speak in that marae on the 28th at 5 in the morning with the Navy. So I've put that all on. They've let me do it in, 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 in the National Trust, Waitangi National Trust, and England's waiting for me to go there, straight there, when Kingi. Just, huh? Yeah, so that's your part. That's, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. With you being up there, you, that's your role, not mine, to say anything. I'm just telling you what I do. I've, I've got a big audience watching around the world with that flag. The, I've got 930 videos on, on YouTube, 930 with proclamations all over the world. So, yeah, so that's why I'm, I'm going up there this time for my last time. I'm not going there anymore. I'm, I'm ending it to go to England to fix the flag on that end. It needs to be proclaimed on that end too, with a chief, with a chief. Yeah, so that the Maori government side is the land here to administer the land. That, that's not my job. My job is to go on the other end with the British on that side of the contract. With the with the with the chief. So yeah, so those are only just commercial uh, operating things and, and contracts with occupation of lands. You can sack them if you want to, but they're only using the land because there's no other law and no other government to do it. And so that's why I'm saying you... you yeah, so that's... So that's why you needed to be there to, to, to do that. And, and all I'm doing is I am putting the flag up. When I get the flag up, I can sack anybody. That's what's going to happen. If once I get that flag up, that's it. That's it. That's none of anybody's business. That's the flag's business. What's that? Yeah, I know. But I've, I've just, they've, they've let me do what I wanted because I've got all the documents to shut them all up. I've got enough documents to shut everyone up, including the Whakamininga. That's why they're shutting them out when I talk. But when you talk, you talk to the land. I don't. I talk from England. You see? I'm talking from that end of the partnership, the, the contract, the contract between the chiefs and, and the British military. That's why the Navy got out of the way and let me go in. You see? Yeah, and no, I'll tell them that. I, I, I wanted you there with them to straighten out the, that part of, of the, you know, they need a government, they need a government to run themselves, otherwise they can't do it. They just can't do it without a government. Yeah, no, 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 the, you see, the thing is, I've done as much as I can and that's all I'm going to do. I'm not doing any more, I'm going to England to sort out the British Westminster. I'm going to sort the Westminster out there. They know I'm coming. They know I'm coming and I'm doing the Commonwealth part of the flag, what it should have been doing, the Commonwealth business. You see, so that's all, I, I'm, that's all I'm concerned with, that part of the flag. I'm just, I'm just want to make the flag work. 
not nothing else, not the land, that's not my business. The land is not my business, but anything outside of that, yes, off the land, out, out, out in the world, where we should be. Yeah, so that's just a practical way of looking at it. Yeah, now nah, well, because... Uh, I don't, I'm not sure, um, but I think there'll be a fair measure of people there this time, because I think the New World Order is going to step in here next month, no, in November, with Obama, and, yeah. and, and, and and could be hell to play, because it's on a war path now with Russia. That, that Once that Navy ship gets in here, all hell's going to break loose, and there's nothing anybody can do at this stage, because I'm watching what's happening. Yeah, so I know I know that, but um, I'm just saying I'm watching the news like a hawk every day to see where we stand in the middle of it all, all their fights. And so we're powerless because we haven't got any military. What's that? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that's so because they don't trust her as much as we don't. They're not, and not worth trading with. Yeah, yeah. Um, Okay. Okay. All right. Well, there you are. That's Sue. When my nerves jump, like they are now, there's something wrong. There is something wrong. Every time my nerves up and my Fitbit, I'll see what my Fitbit says. Just from talking then. 81. There you go. It's normally sitting at 56. It jumped up to 81 just by talking. And when I go to the gym, it's sitting around 81. You see? You see the difference between working hard with the weights? It goes from 81 to 100 in the gym, pushing weights. And just talking, just talking, shoots up. The heart speeds up because we're at the situation again that... Uh, I just want to let you know that uh, body language or what we talk about is very sensitive. Uh, that it affects her and affects me and I just want to try to keep the peace with uh, one leader and the other. With what I say about Sue Nikura, that she's proficient in what she does in politics and that Without her, there is no uh, government to run things if there was no other government here. If John Key's, if she sacked John Key's government, then I don't know how she, she's going to pick somebody up to run the place and keep it on an even keel and pick the right people for that matter. So that's challenging, but that's none of my business. I'm just saying that I let Kingy know what transpired here with her call and I make things public. I, I, I don't like um, uh, hiding things away or not letting anybody know. I told her I've got 930 videos out, YouTube including uh, Daily Motion and other um, videos that I've made in different sites. Um, so um, uh, Sue, although she's um, um, very methodical in, in her profession as a politician and uh, native um, uh, land um, um, uh, experienced person uh, in the Maori land court and courts and with tribunals and with the uh, United Nations who's been there and with um, uh, world courts. She, she mentioned going to the world court with all her complaints. You see, I got no complaints. I only got trials and um, direct credit or debitors. There. The checkbook, no. The pound note, yes. Levy debt instruments. That, that's, all I, that's the only way I talk commercial. That's what I'm saying to her. 
I'm everything outside of here. Um, and anything the flag is uh, meant to be for commerce, banking, investment, land titles, and instruments of legal titles. Yeah, see? So that's the part that I play because she cannot do that job. None of anybody else can do that job if they haven't got the original titles. Now she's asking me to go and chase after the money cows and take them up there. No, no, I won't do that. That's not my business either. Money cows are not my business, but their titles that I have, yes, it is. When the time comes, they get them back. And the Williams, they get their titles back because I'm holding them for their sake, for when the time comes when that flag does what it's supposed to do. Okay, the legal side of that flag before it's gone. If the New World Order takes over and takes over Westman, say it's gone, and they get nothing out of it. So it's not worth uh, running around complaining or, or settling cases less than a, what it's worth or going to the World Court because they control everything from the Crown Corporation on the Queen's side in those courts. We have a King's Bench Court operating at the moment inside Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court. And that's the part she can't understand because she's, her politics is old fashioned and um, still needs updating. She still needs, although her family are up to speed on what's happening in the world. When it comes to legal matters, no, it's a long shot off. Um, having having all her documents in order, that's for a government, that's fine. I've, I've got no problem with that, and her native titles, and everything she's talking about with uh, the Whakaputana flag, the 1835 Declaration of Independence flag, yes, she knows everything about the flag and the Confederation, no trouble. I have no problems with that. But the people involved in the Confederation, yes, I do. I have more respect for um, uh, Nuki Ulrich and the other guy, um, uh, what's his name? I just can't think now. He's in Koa Um I'll think of his name yet. Him. <coughs> um, and um, I've got respect for... for um, Fellows like Dan Davis, uh, Amato Akarana Amato. Uh, so uh, he's been there for a long time in the courts, but um, at the same time, the documents have not worked uh, to their full advantage because the judge has the last say in those courts. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm battling against the odds of doing it this way. Um, and, and win against the police in the Auckland District Court. That's just the first case. If I get another case in there, it'll just follow that one, and they'll lose again. Um, so uh, with that, um, Sue, I'm glad I spoke to her this morning, just uh, so that <clears throat> she can hear what I'm saying. But it does get my, my heckles raised uh, when she um, talks... Um, with Kingy not communicating with her, uh, there's a, a void between there. Now she's asking for Kingy's titles. Uh, that's none of my business either. And um, Kingy, um, uh, we, 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 we kings, uh, where kings are involved, they, that's private business. Um, the king's bench court law is private business. The admiralty is private business. And there's none, not, not for anybody to see what we do. I, I let everybody know what we do, but normally you wouldn't. Uh, like what I do, throw everything out there. Uh, that's not the, the protocol how to do things. You, you don't let the enemy know your secrets. Well, I let everything else out because I can see who's going to be the crook to try and grab it and use it. And you'll be in trouble if you use it because the military in Britain is watching everything I do just in case somebody makes a mistake, they can jump in because they're our partner. And the Westminster Parliament, if you're watching this, um, <coughs> the British uh, Parliament, everything I say is the truth, and nothing but the truth, so help me God. 
it's your business of what I say as statements and affidavits and everything it's factual in the Watangi Marae King's Bench Court when we make statements in there on the 28th in the morning that's law it's law what we say in there is law that's why I was telling you I'll give it 15 minutes not 15 10 minutes each 10 speakers that's 100 minutes that's over an hour uh, over, over an hour 64 and 40 minutes one hour and 40 minutes uh, it's too long it's too long so I'm going to cut it back cut the speakers back to about eight or six so that we don't spend too much time I know she'll she'll go on forever but she can talk a long time on Titi Marae that's where all that belongs and Titi Marae when we go on the other side it's a king's bench court it's nothing to do with the Queen's documents nothing to do with any of what they're going to talk about in the Maori government stays over there. It's none of their business on the other side. That's king to England. Okay? Uh, um, Waitangi National Trust is dealing straight to Britain on that side. The government's business is the government's business here. John Key's business. I've got respect for the Waitangi National Trust and the Iwi Maoris there running the business. That's their business. It's their business. It's not for us to say anything um, bad about their business. It, it's it's people's choice. It's the community, and we're not going to tamper with that. We're only in that marae. I'm making this public statement. We're only in the Waitangi marae as a King's Bench Court to lay down our law in order for ourselves. The hapu has every legal right to be in there to express things to the land and to the government, New Zealand government, okay, and, and the Navy in, in response and respect for the Navy here um, uh, and I'm hoping they come so that we can do things in front of them, kanohi te kanohi or face to face in what we think and say then it becomes law in there. Once we, soon Cora can come in there, but she's coming in there from her own perspective of the whakaminia or the, the whakaputanga flag, because I'm saying, as long as you're Maori or um, partner to the Maori here, living here, people from Britain that came here with the hapu under that flag, they have every right the same as what I have and Sue has in Kingi, to say something to that flag. That's what I'm saying. Okay? So just to get the record straight. It is on record, this video, that um, I'm going to allow certain speakers, because I'm adjudicating the two hours in that marae. I've hired the marae specifically for this reason. So we've got 10 minutes uh, to state their claim uh, as, as, as um, party to the British military, navy and Westminster. That's what we're going there for, to renew our relationship of 182 years with the flag. We haven't said much to the British, but in there we can. We can make a statement to the British um, on our intentions. Okay, we make our intentions be known. Uh, we've opened that marae up for King's Bench Court on the 15th of April 2016 this year and opened our flag to its jurisdiction of Admiralty Law. Admiralty Court Martial Law is now legal for us to use inside that marae. And that was straight to Britain. The Whakaminia part of that with King uh, Chief straight to England was that day, 15th. That was following on from the 10th of April 2016 on Kororareka, the 1834 part of that flag that was put together was enforced inside that party. And the Waitangi Day, 6th of February, Waitangi Day resolutions and laws we pass there with the Kingi 
and I have that all online on video online statements of the agenda for the hui that we put together there went into that marae and was enforced on that day including the pound note and King William pound note um, landlords of England 1830 to 1837 and the gold coins acts 1834 uh, pound note money act 1834 <clears throat> and um, other acts uh, inside there that are crucial to our protection by the British military and Navy. Okay, so um, um, I will text uh, Kingy or give him a call. Give him a call better because he'll be busy tomorrow. I'll give him a call. That's better. That way I get to the horses now. They're my friend, Kingy, because he listens to me and I listen to him. Yeah, Kingy, John here. Um, I just got off the phone to Sue and um, uh, she wanted to talk to you about what she wanted to, to do up at Waitangi, so I thought I'd just give you a message, just pass it on to you, um, what she wanted to make her proclamations, but um, you and I know what that is. Uh, so uh, uh, that's all. I'm going up to Jim soon, so I, I wouldn't, you wouldn't need to talk call me back just um, if you feel like it to call her tomorrow or whatever and have a talk with her I'm not going to convey anything she said because uh, my nerves were starting to rattle and something wrong there okay um, I'll catch you later and give me a call when you're ready to have a little talk plenty of time don't worry okay see you later Yeah, that's how I talk to Kingy. Him and I have got a good relationship um, in what happens uh, with um, his marae and what he says goes. What he says goes. If Sue doesn't come up, it's because more than likely Kingy didn't want anything to go wrong. And with Sue, I didn't want this to happen, that she would sack the New Zealand government. That's the last thing I ever wanted to happen. It's not, it's, it's, it's not in my books to sack the New Zealand government. They have to stay there and look after their people, and look after Maoris too. Somebody has to govern this country. So unless she's got a government in place, then the, that's the status quo. As far as I'm concerned, on Waitangi Marae, that's my business in Kingies. What we do in there, in that Marae, is because they gave it to us. They trust us to do the right thing. Not to jeopardise the government, not to uh, make um, fools out of ourselves, and not to say anything untoward the Navy or the government itself, at the end of the day, It'll correct, self-correct itself by public opinion. That's what I go on. Public perception is that at the moment the government has a say in what happens here. And unless we're proficient enough to take it on straight off like that and prepared and everything in place, it's never going to happen yet. And Sue needs to um, have her presentation up there. I'm just telling her because if I didn't tell her what I'm telling you, then I would feel guilty not letting her know what we're doing without the old people knowing. 
okay? It's been an old store for years, uh, trying to get this across. It's taken a long, long time, over 20 years, for her to go to the United Nations twice, and go to the World Court, and, and still haven't got the answers yet. Because at the end of the day, a Maori government is a Maori government of itself as native to everything, which is hard to imagine that everyone is going to listen. And I've seen it enough on the Marae. We can make all the proclamations in the world and talk to ourselves, but the general population at the end of the day is not interested. They're not interested. They're only interested in something that looks good and appealing and would necessarily benefit everyone, not just a few. So I'm not here talking for ourselves and what we do as Native. I'm talking here for generally all the people in the world where this flag should benefit. And Kingi is, will go along with that because he's more political with the government and with the iwi and with the hapu, both sides. He has to please both sides. It's a very hard job to do. I wouldn't like to be in his boots. If I went and did that job, I'd make sure I got a, a big bulldozer, a sledgehammer, crowbar, and <clears throat> make sure people listen to sense and do something um, with their lands. Uh, so, uh, Sue, thank you for um, talking. And I can see an inch of um, um, uneasiness with um, Hohepa and me saying things on that marae when she was making pro proclamations on that day. In fact, it looks like she wasn't very happy with my statements on the marae. Now, I get up and say things all the time. If you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. And with her making pro proclamations and with me having the floor, because Kingi and the Taumata went along the way I was talking about. They went along and they're still going along with what I'm saying because I'm up there more, more so. And Sue is very uh, good at what she does. And if she's on a marae, they all listen. They, all, they don't argue. They don't argue with her. So all I'm saying is this. When you talk king to king, different story from the queen and Maori government and woman. The women have their part to play on lands and the men have their job to do too. It so happens that King Kingi is in a royal bloodline side straight to England. Okay, I'm, I'm in the royal bloodline side straight to Tahiti and straight to East Island. Okay, don't argue because by the time I get there, they'll know. They'll know when I get there. It's supposed to be me and Jamie go there, but we'll see. She's supposed to go with me to England too, with the Patrick name. Okay, the Patrick, St. Patrick's Order. That's her name, surname to that eight point star on the flag. Okay, between her and I, we're representing the flag and everything it's going to do and supposed to do long ago. That's why Sue's saying it should have happened long ago. There was nobody to do it. Nobody to talk for the king. Okay, so maybe repeating myself, but that's what I'm used to repeating. Repetitive is it, it soon gets across. It soon gets across. I'm um, listening to um, Donald Trump. I follow his line of thinking. Is keep saying the same thing enough times, it'll get through. Okay, repetitive. Repeat and. Um, being straight. He says on his latest videos he doesn't need a teleprompter so he takes the mic away so the, the teleprompter won't work. He just talks straight out. You see? So that's the way to do it. And don't have to rely on, on headlines to tell you what to say. You should know. If you don't know, you shouldn't be there. If you don't know anything, you shouldn't be there. So Sue, so, um, I hope you come up to Waitangi, even if Kingi rings you or not. Um, if you don't come up, 
it means a lost opportunity. But that's not for me um, to worry about because I'm, I'm, I've got bigger issues out in the Commonwealth countries of the world and the world itself with the flags gone with the Queen and their royal family. And Prince Edward has taken it around the world from America and New York on the stock exchange and for their own financial investment interests and not ours. Okay, so that's how as far as uh, it goes. And it looks like somebody's trying to get me online on Facebook and I'll just put a thing there say I'm going to the gym. So, and some teeth. And I just posted some things on um, getting complete teeth in one day here in New Zealand. I'm curious about that. We're going to have a look. So with that, um, Kingy, if you watch this video, I'm feeling good about everything. I'm confident. I've got a cold red smile. Might be a sensitive one, but hope, hopefully before long I'll have a better look. And some more, some more hairs to grow, and we'll look good for the aeroplane trip to England. Okay? That's all. We'll see you later. Have a nice day, Sunday. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye. Time now. 10.58 a.m. Oruhu, Auckland, New Zealand. See ya.